Lane. Huh. Do you know what day it is? No. It's May 1st. Do you know what that means? No. It's May Tari! That's not a real thing, Dad. <sighs> Roll the intro. All right, so there's Marchintosh, there's Septandi, so why can't there be Maitari? Because none of those exist. No, Marchintosh, Marchintosh and Septandi, Septandi exist. Let's start it. Let's make Maitari. I've got uh, some Atari systems I wanted to look at today. So this is one uh, from a previous video. This is the 65XE. I didn't have anything to run on it last time, but now I've got... Uh, one of these Atari Max cartridges. It's got a bunch of games on it, and yeah. Anyway, so if we pop this in, power it on. Look at that! Loads right into it, Lane. Oh, seems to work. Um, I think on these, a lot of times there's a membrane keyboard, and those can fail pretty easily. Um, but at least it seems like this one's working. So look at all these games. Let's, uh, let's try one out. Mario? Nope, no Mario. Well, there probably is a Mario port for Atari, but... King Kong? I don't know if it's on here. Donkey Kong? Donkey Kong, maybe. We'll need to get a joystick or a controller, I think. Arrow keys. Yeah, we need the... We need a controller. Two arrow keys. I don't know if it'll let us. I think the next systems we have came with controllers. This one didn't, so we'll uh, just reboot it. And I'm curious to just try out all the keys to make sure they work. So we've got two rows that don't work. So I don't know if that's the membrane. Probably is the membrane, but I don't know if this controller works. I haven't tested this yet either. Whoa, what'd you pick? Crystal Castle. That's a classic. Press start. Well, this controller seems like it works. This is like 3D Pac-Man. Those ghosts are chasing me. Ah, gotta get all the X's. Uh oh, uh oh, oh. Do you wanna play? No. Wanna play a different game? You play. No. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Oh. All right. Well, this mis mis yeah. This system seems like it works. Let's uh. What else was on here? There was some other cool stuff. Do you want to play Pac Man? I want to see you play Pac Man. Want to see me play Pac Man. Actually, I want. I want to try. Oh, there's Frogger. Frogger. Do you ever play Frogger? I don't know if it uses the controller or the keyboard. I don't know how to start it. Start. You gotta get the frogs into the spots at the end. What do you say? This one seems like it's working except for a couple of keys, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Do you want to play a different game? Do you want to play any games on here? There's a bunch of games. Pac-Man. I want to try Pac-Man. Alright, let's see if we can find it. I'm pretty I'm sure I'm not very good at Pac-Man or these games. Mrs. Pac-Man is just like Pac-Man. Okay. Instead of it, it just... Alright, hold it. He's got to move. Get 
two for now. Okay. Yeah. You see what we've got? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's turn this off. All right. So next we have the Atari 5200. All right. So we got four games for this one. We've got Pac-Man, Centipede, Super Breakout, and Dig Dug. Don't know if any of them work. What should we pop in? Super Dug. Dig I Dug? Mean, um, Centipede? Centipede. Or Super Breakout? Centipede. Centipede. Okay. Pop in Centipede. Let's see if we get anything. You play. You want me to play? Not seeing anything. Might need to hit it with some deoxygen. All right, well, let's uh, turn it on and hit some buttons. Maybe you gotta hit buttons. I don't think that's the case, but. Yeah, nothing here. What is this game? Super Breakout? Super Breakout. It's like Arkanoid. Oh, and I do have the. Uh, the gigantic box that the 5200 comes in, so that's pretty cool. Um, this box is not original to this particular 5200, but the 5200 box is cool to have. So let's unhook the myriad of cables. All right, so next up we have an Atari 400. So I plugged everything in. For this one, I've got Pac-Man. Let's see if Pac-Man works. Plug in Pac-Man, close it up, hit the switch. Oh, good, this one seems like it's running. Not putting out a very bright signal, but there is a signal. Um, press select for two-player game, press option to change difficulty, press, press start to play game. All right. Uh, this is much more responsive. This is very playable. Why is that going on? The color is uh, very dark. Very dark. Well, anyway, this one seems like it works. Let's uh, power it off. So that all seems to check out. I'm gonna check out the keyboard. And this one's got the uh, horrible, horrible, like, touch, no key keyboard. So let's pop out Pac-Man, power it back on. And we should get memo pad. So this one at least seems to work, but there's a problem with the brightness. Um, I don't know if there's like a pot to adjust that or if something's going bad or a capacitor, but we'll need to take this one apart at some point too and see if we can't figure out that problem. But overall, it looks like it's working, so that's great news. So we got one system left, the Atari Video Computer System VCS, later called the Atari 2600. That's the one everybody remembers was daddy's age and older. So let's get that one hooked up, give it a quick test, and then... Uh, We'll see what Lane has to say about that. All right, so finally we've got the 2600, the uh, VCS. And for this one, we've got a few games, Space Invaders, Target Fun, Tennis, Video Olympics, Video Pinball, Defender, Asteroids, Super Breakout, Pac-Man, oh, Atari 2600 Pac-Man, Laser Bass, Blast, Frogger, Donkey Kong, Bowling. So we've got a few to pick from here. Oh, we've also got not only the joystick controllers that came with it, but the uh, paddle controllers as well. And they both got something loose in them, so that's not ideal. But we know this joystick works, so let's pop in Breakout. And of course, the controllers for the 2600 are on the back. So super Breakout. So we'll pop that guy in. Uh, novice, novice, color. All right, so there is Super Breakout. I don't know which paddle controls it. All right, looks like it's this. Oh, with a very scratchy potentiometer in there, a very scratchy pot. Oh, this is very difficult to play with a scratchy potentiometer. All 
right. But it looks like this is working as well. Just uh, need to clean out the controller. All right, well, we found one more Atari device. Uh, this is the Atari TV games, and it's just a little Atari emulator. It's got mono audio and video. Wouldn't be a complete Matari video without this, right? <laughs> All right, so let's turn this guy on. Jack's Pacific. Oh, I didn't plug the sound in, but you get the idea. What should we play? Pong. Pong. Yeah. Let me sit on the Oh, here you play. I don't know how to play. You can just go to, it's like tennis. It's like ping pong. It's gotta bounce the ball back to the other side. This terrible controller. It's so bad. Mm. Why did that good controller go? Well, here, try this one. That's not gonna work because this is all just all built into this. I see it's hard. Hey, like, you know what month is actually Atari month? Huh. June. June 26th is Atari Day, I think. This is the 2600, and June is the month Atari was founded in. You're right, there's no such thing as Maytari. Yes, I finally got my first point. Nice. That was a good trick. Oh man. All right, well, we're gonna play some Pong, so thanks for watching our video. Hope you have a great Maytari, and we'll see you in the next one.